you can go there, you can ask any question. We got an EMF, but before that, Pamela, would you please come up? And I want you to give your great testimonial, your mom and JD. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. So, first of all, I'm Pamela Marton, and I am a Swiss Bionic Solutions lifestyle consultant for the past, uh, going on five years now. So, here's what I can say. Because you're in this room, you're a very small percentage of the population, number one. Number two, we have an angel here laying on the mat. She really is. She's one of our testimonials. She's been using it the last, how long now, a couple of years? Yeah. And what it's doing for her is helping her be more relaxed, more comfortable, bringing her cells back into resonance. So what I've experienced in five years is body, harmony, and balance. And that's what creates the cells to heal, okay? Our bodies to come back into resonance. The reason I originally found PEMF was I decided in my late 50s I was going to take up salsa dancing. But little did I know I was going to be dancing and performing with 18 year olds. <laughs> and I, I said, okay, I can do this. And I did. I did a whole, um, we did a competition and we won. And after that, I was very sore. And I wasn't really trained and prepared to do it. And all of a sudden, the backs of my legs, I used to be able to do yoga and flip them up. I was like, I can't bend the backs of my legs the way I used to. So I was blessed, a friend of mine laid me on a PEMF mat, and I got up. I said, oh my God, there's no pain in the backs of my legs. What happened? There's no pain in my body. So I, I, I remember walking out of the room and I said, because I don't feel like I'm in resonance with the earth. Something's off here. So I went home and I got on Google and I started researching and I found PEMF. And I found the Omnium One and it was in New York. And I thought, how am I gonna get on that? And I called the guy and he said, you know what, this guy Wolfgang, he's gonna be in Brea, California. And I said, what, who is he? He said, well, he's the inventor of this Omnium One. You need to go there and you need to go lay on that mat and find out what this is all about. So I did, and I went to Brea, I, I met Terry, I think I met Michael and Donna, some of the people that are here today. I met Veronica, I met Wolfgang, and my friend came and her mom was laying on this mat and getting heart palpitations. This is a true story. And I went to Wolfgang and I said, I want you to explain to me why I should buy your mat and not this mat. And he did. And so I said, okay. So Terry um, at that time had one Omnium and she let me use it for a couple of weeks and pain was gone. So that was it, I was sold. And I purchased the Omnium one. And at that time we were working with children that had autism and ADHD. And I wanted something that could help the children relax. So we bought another one for a clinic with the children and fast forward, at the time I was um, doing the mat with clients, meaning I would lay them on the mat and I was trained in far infrared, handheld. So I'd take the far infrared device and it would take me literally an hour. So I'd lay them on the mat for the eight minutes and then I'd have to do the spine for 30 minutes and then another like 30 minutes for their <coughs> spot area. So when I met Wolfgang, I said, Wolfgang, are you gonna put far infrared in this map? And he kind of looks at me and goes, well, yeah, we're working on it, but it, you know, it's not so easy. And I said, please, please. And so every time I'd go to a meeting, we would say, when are you gonna put far infrared in the map? <laughs> and he'd say, I'm working on it. So the good news is finally during COVID, we came out, he came out, Swiss Bionic Solutions, with this map. Now, the reason I was blessed is my family um, 
just in, I asked for prayers, um, came into a situation during COVID um, where both my mom and my husband ended up in the hospital. And the last thing you want to do, especially during COVID, is end up in a hospital. So what happened in JD's here today, in his case, is he was severely injured by the hospital. So stay out of the hospitals. Um, they, they cut three arteries uh, to his kidney and basically left him to bleed to death. And told me to my face that your husband is going to expire and have a heart attack. And I was like, not on my watch. And then the second day, they told me the same thing. So JD, the first time, was in three months. But I knew the minute he came home, he would be getting on energy medicine. And at that time, we were blessed to have the hybrid. So when JD came home, he got on the hybrid. And he actually, all during COVID, he had gone in and out a total of nine times. We didn't think he was going to walk. He was in a wheelchair. He was bed bound for three months. And we just didn't think he would ever walk again. But we got him daily on the mat three times a day. My mom, the same thing happened. And my mom's here too. So you can talk to both of them. Both of them were in wheelchairs and told they basically would not be walking again. And so we all have our own mats. And I do that because he often falls asleep, and I don't want to wake him after a session. So I just, if he's asleep, I just let him sleep. Because the mat takes you into deep delta sleep um, in a very quickly, you know, I'll find him, I'll put him on, I'll be talking, and in two minutes he's gone. <laughs> Same thing with my mom. Yesterday I put her on, and so I, I just let them fall asleep on it. Um, Okay, testimonial I want to share. This one is different than yesterday. Um, the nephew of a former U.S. president called me like, I'd say, I don't know, about six months ago. And it was a Friday night, and he said, Pamela, I need you to come up to my house. And I was like, how did you get my number? How do you know who I am? And he said, I got it from a doctor, from a doctor. And I just had a second hip replacement on the same side hip. And I said, okay. And he says, but I can't get downstairs from my upstairs, and my wife is out of town, and I can't get to my kitchen. <laughs> he said, can you help me? And I said, okay. He said, can you come over right now? And I was like, it's 10 o'clock at night, I'm going to get there at midnight, this is not appropriate. So the next day, Danny and I went in the morning, and we carried the mat upstairs. It was the hybrid. And I brought it into his room, we laid it on the bed, and he asked me, he said, he's a very busy man, and he writes books and things, and he said, can I text while I'm on this mat? Can I work? And I said, Absolutely not. And he said, well, why not? And I said, because you're going to be healing on this mat, and that energy is going to interfere with the other energy. And I said, I had an experience one day. I was on the hybrid. Someone called my cell phone, and I picked it up to answer it. And the energy shot through my arm into my neck, and I screamed, and my mom heard me. I said, Oh my gosh, and I realized that that frequency was intensified. So I always tell my um, people, my clients, my friends, keep the phone away. Don't text, don't answer phone calls. You know, especially now we're in 5G, so you just really want to be careful with that. And um, the other main testimony that I want to share is our good friend Christine. Um, she's one of our, um, well, I say users, because she's got two mats, um, and she travels a lot with us, and she had called me and crying, and she said, Pamela, I had a stroke. And I said, Christine, are you using your mat? And she said, no. And I said, why not? She said, it's still in the box. Mm -hmm. And I said, Christine, your husband's using it, why don't you use it? And she said, 
my, I, I just, I don't have time. I said, let me ask you a question. Do you have time now? And she said yes. Yeah. So we had a trip planned four days later. She started, I said, Monday morning, start using it three times a day. And she used it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, called me on Thursday, and she said, Pamela, I'm going on the trip. I said, great. I said, well, get a wheelchair, and we will wheel you along. She said, no, you're fine. She had lost the use of her left arm and her left leg. And she ended up still traveling with us to DC, walking with my mom. They walked all of, like, all, all of the um, capital, all over to the Washington Monument. And she, she now is a user. And she, when I say a user, she's a daily user, using it every day. We have lots of people that have had strokes um, that once they start using it, they no longer have concurrent strokes. Um, so, and I, you guys could ask me a lot, a lot of different things. I've had people with, um, what do you call those, kidney stones, where they pass that. I mean, and the main thing is pain, inflammation, bone, bone, you know, healing, fractures, and then mainly having energy and anti-aging. So one of the things is my map, my mom will share with you. She's 85 young. She has the same energy that I do. She sleeps a little bit more, but same, I would say sometimes more energy, but she uses her mat. And um, the anti-aging factor, I believe, I totally believe that it's helping to keep me and my family not only alive, but young. So share it with your family, share it with your friends, share it with your best friends, because you want to keep them around, especially at this time. So if you guys have any questions, you know, you can ask Veronica, Terry, me, and of course, Wolfgang gets all the questions. <laughs> Thank you. What about the smaller um, units? Could you say something about Oh, that? yeah. So I first learned on the Omnium One, and the Omnium One is fabulous. And what's fabulous about that is you can travel with it. So I have two Omniums, and then we have two hybrids, and then we have an IRMRS Prime, the regular one. The reason this is fabulous is it folds up, and it has all the same modes. It will do the same frequencies. And so that is easy to travel with, and you don't have to plug it in. You can put it in your suitcase. Yeah, you can put it in your suitcase, and it's Android-based. Wolfgang shared yesterday about how the hybrid is kind of like options. It has a lot of more bells and whistles. And what is fabulous about this, the hybrid, is not only does it have the 284 diseases or ailments protocols pre-programmed in it, there's the glossary. So you can look up from A to Z, you know, from whatever, <coughs> acne down to, you know, Z, and it's got the ailments pre-programmed in there, so it's push button, okay? The heat is such an addition. Um, for me, because I was using far infrared by itself, then when I integrated it with the PEMF, I was like, wow, now we got the best of both worlds. So this has the heat with the PEMF, and the Omnium has the PEMF, which does the same thing, it's just this has the addition of having it together. What I notice is my healing response for me it is just, I feel like I went in a far infrared sauna every day. And everyone says to me, you're so energetic, you're so happy, you feel so good. You know why? I used to live with pain. I had pain all in my body. I have no pain now. I used to get it a lot in my shoulders, my legs, but I'm pain free. A life of pain is not a happy life. So that that's that's my testimonial, but I have I have so many that I have to kind of pick and choose. Um, and oh, and one more is depression. I I really feel so. I have family members that had 
depression. And we find that there is something about when your cells are in harmony that your body just, it resonates and then you feel, this is, you know, magnetic resonance system for me, it that totally, when you're in resonating like those metronomes and you're in alignment in all your cells, your body heals. So what it's doing is the entrainment is allowing your body to heal itself. And that's the key, and that's what we're all choosing to do. And as we're getting thrown at us, not only viruses, cancer, we don't know what the next bioweapon's gonna be. Mm -hmm. So I say in-home health, so you don't have to go to a hospital, you don't have to rely on supplements, doctors, all these things. If you have your own system, now you have a far infrared sauna, you have PEMF, and not only that, you have biofeedback. I don't think all, all of you know, there's a finger sense, okay? It's called the hexagon sense, and you put your finger in it, and what it does is it does biofeedback. So if you can't do this wrong, so don't be afraid of it. So let's say you put yourself on 25 intensity, and you put your finger in this hexagon sense, it will read your energy, okay? And if your energy is too low, it'll give you the exact amount that you need. So there are days when I come home and I'll put it, I'll put it on sensitive at night and it'll, it'll boost me up because my energy, even for sleep, needed to be 25, okay? It also reads your heart rate, so it'll give you a reading every time on your heart rate variability and it also gives you a reading on your SpO2, and that is the saturation oxygen rate that is in your body and your cells. So you will know exactly daily. You'll be able to you know, see a reading every day. So for families, I, I just feel this is like, you know how you wanna have an arsenal <coughs> or if we, like our, we have no food? This is like if you can't get in a hospital, a doctor, this is your arsenal. So those are the good things. So the SVO2 and then, the, of course, the brain entrainment system is really good to balance the brains. And I know a lot of people right now are having a hard time sleeping. There's a sleep mode on here. So the sleep mode is fabulous, and there's a regeneration mode, which helps do the regenerating. And then the third one I wanna share, nobody really knows about, is called the Sophagio scale. And that is balancing your chakras, I believe it's nine chakras, and it puts them all back in balance. So there's way more to this. As you start learning, there's a certification course as well. Um, once you have one, you can be certified as a PEMF expert. So I want to say my hat off and my, my layoff to, to Wolfgang, Veronica, Terry, her husband, and everyone who showed up today because you are in a very, very small percentage of, I would say, some of the highest minds on the planet because the rest of the people, they're out doing something, I don't know, watching football, doing whatever they're doing, but our health is the only thing we really have. So thank you all. Thank you. Okay, ask questions. We'll get some here. You still have questions? <laughs> How could that be? Thank you very much for this thorough introduction. Yeah. Um, so I had it, and um, I'm trying to get a better understanding. I've been using the pre-program mode because I have severe digestion issues, mm -hmm. sleep, and knee issues. Um, so uh, you talk about eight, eight, twenty-four. Yeah. So, so do I do the hybrid in the morning, and then more the specifics at night, and then the afternoon, midday? Like, what, what do you recommend? Like, you can time? always add if you have, if you belong to the to the people who are in the possession of a hybrid whole body net, yeah, I own it. you should yeah. utilize it all the time together with PMF because you're gonna, you're gonna multiply the effects. 
So, you, you know, far infrared is a technology which is uh, 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 based on, 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 on heat, first of all, and on information within a very specific frequency range. The, 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 the biological window of far infrared is roughly between 3 and 14 microns. This is just a wavelength. And the, uh, the hybrid uh, whole body applicator um, emits exactly this frequency range. So you're going you're gonna to catch the biological window in order to benefit and to resonate with far infrared. In addition, you get also the warmth. The, the applicator will warm up. Oh, yeah. no? And you can, you can even uh, control the temperature based on your personal feelings. It's uh, controllable between 10 and 100 percent, whereas 100 percent is the maximum heat. It's roughly 45 degrees centigrade, which is 100, 110, 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So, especially in the winter months when it's getting colder, even in, in California, you, 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 you will like this because yeah. you lie on the a hybrid whole body applicator and you will benefit from this, from this warm feeling, you know? And so if you have a hybrid, you can do always both at the same time because both applications built in that applicator, they do not interfere. They accompany each other, you know? And they increase the benefits. Far infrared especially increase the benefits um, to a, up to a penetration depth between 50 to 75 millimeters. That's mm. about that thick. So that will be very helpful for the skin and for everything underneath the skin, the, 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 uh, the connection points to the nerves from the tissues and the, and the capillars, the, 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 the small blood vessels, that will help even more to increase circulation, mm. and uh, which is good for you, for your local problems, because yeah. <clears throat> because when you have pain, there is always inflammation involved. You know, the inflammation causes the pain because that's how the, the body works. When something is wrong, it creates an inflammation. Inflammation is the initial answer of the body to heal something. Inflammation is something good, it's not something bad. You know, the problem is though, if the cause is not caught, the inflammation is, 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 is present. And it doesn't go away. So in order to, 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 you know, to help the body to jumpstart this process and go over this peak to start the healing process, you can utilize this, this in conjunction. And like, uh, so, so yes, you should always, if you have the possibility and you have, because you own a hybrid uh, a whole body applicator with the control unit, then you should use that in conjunction. So you use the hybrid mode. Like in the morning and afternoon? Yes, in the morning with eight minutes. Um, I would say intensity 25. <coughs> you know, energy medicine is never about the intensity. This is especially for the men here in the audience. <laughs> you know? And some women. <laughs> I put it on 400. I did it. <laughs> you know? It doesn't mean anything, you know? <laughs> Uh, and, and, and therefore, you know, start with lower intensities and, and, and uh, let the body accommodate to that kind of information, you know, and, but be consistent. That's important, you know. In a good relationship, you don't tell your wife one time per year, I love you! <laughs> you know, you tell it to her every day in a nice way, I love you, you know. So do it more gentle, but do it more often. You know, the effect is different. Also in a relationship. You know? And buy some presents from time to time. <laughs> you know, that doesn't hurt, you know? <laughs> so, so, so if, if, in layman terms, because I was trying to explain the benefits of far infrared, how do I explain it? So far infrared new has things? more or less the same benefits than PMF. Mm -hmm plus the involvement of heat, okay. but the limitation of penetration depth. Oh, okay. no? So you, you cannot penetrate through your entire body with far infrared. No? 
You have to do it like a sausage on the grill. You have to mm -hmm. turn around after four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and do it on both sides, you know? In order to get, to get the full penetration depth on, on, on the, the surface of your skin, you could do that. Whereas PMF goes through entirely. Huh? So, you, you know, ideally you would really, by, at an eight minute session, you could turn around after four minutes. Like a pancake. Huh? Like a pancake. <laughs> like a good filet mignon, which yeah. I don't need anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? So that's that's the thing. But don't get yourself too nervous with with protocols and settings. You know? Because like I said, it's not so important. You will feel if it's too much. If the intensity is too high, it will you you, you will you will you will feel agitated. And then you have to lower it. An agitation is never a side effect. It's just a too strong reaction on the language. Huh? And then just lower it a little bit. And there are times, times and days where we need more intensity, and there are times and days where we need less intensity. You know, this is life. Sometimes you need ACDC in the morning, <laughs> high volume to get you pumped up for the day. <laughs> And sometimes wellness music does the job in the morning because you don't want to hear noisy music. Mm -hmm. And it's not every day the same. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Our body is, 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 a, is a living organism. It's not dead, it's living. Mm -hmm. So a living organism tends to be very, very, uh, tend to, 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 to have very variable reactions, you know? And like our mood, we don't, we don't have every day the same mood. And, and sometimes we can't take noisy voices around us. Mm -hmm. huh? So this is, this is how you should look at it. And, and this is an important part to understand energy medicine. Energy medicine is never about how intense the language is. Mm -hmm. It's about doing it gently and consistently. Over and over again. Over and over again. It's like training if you want to, to, to improve your fitness. You know, you have to train on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But you have to also control the intensity of your training. Because if you train too much on one day, you have to make a break on the next day because you can't, you know, you are, you are sore, you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. You know? And, 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 and it's, it's, yeah, it's an analogy. If you want to improve your endurance, you need to train on a consistent basis, but maybe not with such a high intensity, but consistently. If you want to improve endurance in your body, speaking of improve energy level, performance, self-healing ca capabilities, you need to apply gentle uh, information, but consistently. You know, and that's very important. Sir, I've, um, I'm trying to figure out how to use the, uh, the setup that you have. Um, I'm, I'm trying to use this to treat Moneris. I have Moneris, mm -hmm. and um, you have. I, I got an attachment with it. Has like two little pads with a strap between them. I'm not sure exactly how to use that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this looks like a little tool. That's probably the most powerful local applicator that you can get, and I tell you why. First of all, it contains of two elements. Each element has a built-in copper coil, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uninsulated solid copper. Mm -hmm. And those copper coils, they get feeded over this cable with electricity. Mm -hmm. what, what we learned today, Ampere's law of proof, mm -hmm. if you run current through a wire, copper wire, use a copper coil, we create a magnetic field around it. Mm -hmm. So, here, we benefit from a very, very special physical uh, phenomenon, which is called the Helmholtz effect. You can Google that. The Helmholtz effect, when you, when you place two coils facing each other, they, this particular setup creates a 100% mm -hmm. homogeneous magnetic field right in the center mm. of it. So imagine um, you have problems in this area. I would use it like this. Oh, okay. 
Huh? I've been trying to figure out why it wouldn't fit over my ears. It doesn't have to. Because what people always think, if I have if I yeah. yeah, if I have a problem with the ear, you don't need to necessarily cover your ear with it. Just place it close to your ear. Because you have you have a, 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 a radiation a, a, a radius of at least two feet. You know, even the person beside you gets it still. Huh? But what would be important in your case is angle it mm -hmm. that, that you benefit from the Helmholtz effect. Mm -hmm. Because now they are facing, in, in the middle, they are creating a very homogeneous magnetic field. Mm -hmm. And that uh, creates a profound resonance reaction. And this is why we designed this applicator like this. You know? If, if you suffer from back pain and you don't know where it comes from, because it's often a problem, I have back pain. Yeah, where is the pain? It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> right? right? You cannot locate it. Well, then don't use this. Use the pad. The pad has also two coils, but more windings. There's bigger coils inside. And those bigger, two bigger coils, they cover a wider area. So if you suffer from back pain, you can do it. You can uh, perform an application while you're watching TV. Just put it along the spine. And you cover the entire area here. Because electromagnetic fields emit in any direction equally. So even when you place it here, you will measure the magnetic field here. And even here. You know? And even here. So you actually cover the whole area and probably even parts of your head still because it emits in this direction equally. And so you don't have to pinpoint, you just have to cover it. Uh, so in your case, just finishing that, put the spot around, you can also put your head on the pillow. We also pass it. You know, but you you can make you you you, you be ensured that you get a magnetic field around this entire area. Okay. No specific pinpoint necessary. Okay. He has um, a Bluetooth earpiece mm -hmm. that yeah. connects to his phone, so should he always take it off when he's using yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to take it off when he's yeah. using it. Well, I do that anyway. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, take it off. So what is the waveform that's on the... Here we have a different waveform. Yeah. Here we have a square wave. That's right. A square wave is also, Google it, you'll find it, it's, 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 a, it's a, a waveform which exists in Newton's physics. Mm -hmm. There are certain PMF devices, they have genetically modified uh, uh, waveforms which <laughs> you cannot find in physics. They tell you it's patented, you know, but it's, you cannot find it, you know. We only use physics. And the, the, the square wave here, the square wave looks like the, the, the signal looks like there's nothing and there is a very very quick rise and there is a long peak and then there's a very quick fall and that's why it looks like a square wow. that's why it's called a square wave and the square wave and there it, it's also proven by a, by a study which was done by by NASA by the way um, uh, I can I think the study is even the way you have it I said it already 10 times because you always ask me for this. <laughs> She's very busy. <laughs> send me the NASA study, I send it to you. Yeah, yeah, but send it to me. <laughs> and this, this study was done with the square wave. And because of its characteristic of the fast rise and fall times, it creates not only a, a pain relief by increasing blood circulation and inhibit inflammation, slowing down inflammation, but also by releasing endorphins. Mm -hmm. And this release of endorphins, that has a pain relieving effect. We know that, it's a hormone, you know, the endorphin is, is, uh, is uh, responsible for controlling our pain sensations, mm -hmm. you know? So when you use a square wave, by the way, square waves coming out here and also out of the spot, you know? Then you benefit from from, from this local uh, uh, results based on the specific waveform which is used to exactly uh, uh, create this, uh, this, this particular effect which we would like to gain. 
you know. So square wave here, square wave here, triple sawtooth here. And in addition, never use this uh, uh, applicator with this together in the same time. Because it's always a question. I, I have no time, I need to save time. Mm -hmm. The problem is, you have two different waveforms. Mm -hmm. And if two different waveforms... <laughs> remember, well, we, remember, we still use those here. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, if I damage it, you, have, you get an exchange, you know? I don't know the most. Don't worry. You know? By the way, we have everything here. Okay? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, we they, have literally those, everything here. Those guys have everything, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, when a square wave... With insurance. And, and I have insurance. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. When a square wave and a sawtooth meet each other, they create an, a, 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 an additional frequency which we cannot control. And that's why we're not allowed to use that uh, those simultaneously. Goggle is more than okay. Huh? Yeah, we use those to go to start, you know, firework. So can you use both of those together at the same time? Two on your hand. Two on your hand. No. No. You can never ever use two applicators at the same time with none of our systems. And that's that, that's the reason for it. Huh? By the way, the goggles, it looks like this when they are working. Yeah, close your eyes because otherwise you see nothing for 15 minutes. <laughs> so you close your eyes and then you can see the, the flicker frequencies, you can see the colors and you can also add an earphone and the computer of our PMF device is gaining these specific tones in alignment to these frequencies. You know, and this is what you can do simultaneously with, with either one of these applicators. You can even do an isolated brainwave uh, entrainment without implementing an applicator. It's also possible. Okay. I so. have one question. When you wear the goggles, you keep you keep your eyes open. Closed. Or closed. Closed. Oh, you closed? Yeah. Because even when you close your eyes, you will get the flick, flicker frequencies through your sensors on the on the on the eye. Not necessary to keep them open. Keep your eyes open. Exactly. Not keep your eyes open. Keep it closed. Um, yes, ma'am. I have a question about water. Water. And this water. is nine point five pH, which I have never heard. Yeah, that's and I to me too. Her, that's the new thing, huh? Is it beneficial at this level, or what do you recommend to the machines? Show me the study. If you're very acidic, it's to help lower. I think, in general, it, it is not so crucial which pH value you, the water has you drink when we talk about the efficiency of of PMF. You this has probably purity. other ben benefits, but it is important to hydrate well. The purity is... Yeah, the purity is important. Does the, yeah. Does yeah. the pH give you more purity, depending no, on... No, not necessarily. No, so no, what, the what is... What do you recommend? Like, like you said, it probably has... Yeah, when you, your, when your body gets acidic when you have toxins in it. Right. And you would drink high pH water until you can get it lower. But to continue drinking high pH water when your body's in balance, then you're going the other way. So you should. So 8.5 8. is about the right. 8.5 is about the Yeah. But then what? That's not the line. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, some people, that's why. Yeah, that's why we can restart the discussion now. Some right. people say it's too high. Well, my, my, well, you know? The doctor told my son, he's drinking too much alcohol. Mm -hmm. Too much alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I always do? I drink good water and put a, a lemon or lime inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I, would, that, uh, would that balance it? Okay, perfect. And for me, it tastes better. For me, my problem of water drinking, Veronica can drink water the whole day. I, I don't like it because it doesn't taste anything. Mm -hmm. right? I like to taste something. So if I put a lime inside or a lemon, beautiful. I love it, you know? But that's like I said, that's just what it is. So. On your gargles, I noticed there's a different wavelength. Yes. And on which condition and environment we should use a different setting of the wavelength that 
but which is different color. <coughs> because like I test it out and play around with it. I use red, it's pretty good for me at night time, but I talk to That's interesting. Yeah. Yes, I talk about That's very stuff. interesting. I talk about the stuff you can send higher to the ultraviolet wave wavelength to get into the brain active more. So that's what you have a chart or something. Uh, usually that. usually uh, for all the reps we have a, a PDF in our back office. Which we can share with our with our users, which gives you an idea how brain brainwave entrainment works. It will be explained, and it will also give you a chart with colors and what they do for you. So yeah. I don't know if you are a rep or if you are. Well, no, actually, I was getting the stuff from Terry. Yeah. And so Terry, Terry will provide you the yeah. PDF where all this information is. Uh, is yeah, because my mom has <laughs> Yes. Are uh, basically on the engineers and yeah. much vinyl. All the soft and stuff. That's why you need red at night. No, I don't because, like, because I nobody don't. usually needs it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was so concerned about your, your idea. Because usually red activates. Yeah. So why would he need it? Why would he Because he's an engineer. <laughs> I need to calm myself they, down. They, they, use, they used to work at nights. <laughs> no, because I fly planes too, so you I see? need red lights going yeah. through, so exactly. I can use any other than that. So yeah. that's so why I know red is. I mean, one of the things that we use in the cockpit. So I know. We, so we, red calms you down. Pretty much, no, it's not really intense to your like. I mean, to your to your eye bone. Yeah. And, but uh, but you are the bright light, and your once it's flush, your your um your pupils yeah. will shrink it down. So, but at night time, that we need is red. So we activate a lot more at yeah. night time. But so, usually, it's not good. Red yeah. is not good for preparing to sleep. Yeah, it's not. It just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what I mean, and what strain is relaxed your mind? I mean, the wavelength. That's you, I know. Usually, the everything in the red area activates and makes you really, you know, waking up and alert. Yeah. You know, everything in the blue, in the blue line, uh, keeps you awake and keeps you concentrated without being agitated. Mm -hmm. And everything in the green calms you down yeah. and prepares you yeah, for like delta and theta. So like usually. Yellow. Button. Yellow. Uh, yellow is between uh, green and, uh, and and now it's between blue and red. No, blue and red. So it's uh, it's uh, a little bit a little bit more agitated than just concentrated, but not too too much. But like I said, if you ask your representative to provide you the PDF which we which we supply about brainwave entrainment, and everything is explained in there, even with the colors. And even with the mixed colors like violet, purple, and stuff like that, and what it means and what it, what's the idea behind it. Yeah. Huh? Um, I have this hybrid. And you have this hybrid, this, yes. Uh, this 824 that you mentioned, should we use it with a goggle and sensor all the time or not? Well, yeah, you can do it because at least when you, when you use this basic setting and you use the sensor if you have one, it might change the setting over the, over the minutes which is more or less uh, like an autopilot yeah. mm -hmm. because the, the sensor, uh, uh, like already explained uh, from, my, from my female colleague here, um, she, uh, she said that the sensor more or less controls the intensity. Uh. How, how do we do that? You know, we measure the HRV, heart rate variability. And we do a protocol, we, we, we develop an algorithm every 60 seconds we record your HRV and we evaluate it. And based on the result, the system decides whether you get a higher intensity or a lower intensity. In that case, doesn't matter with which intensity we put it? I would start with the middle intensity so that uh, the autopilot allows you to go in both directions. Mm -hmm. Right? One more question. So when I, if I use this uh, hybrid all the time, when should I use these fast start programs? There's so many different. Pro I like those. The, the fast start programs work only in PMF, not hybrid. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Because we, uh, we, we, the the hybrid technology is so new. I have not collected enough data to provide fast start programs with three program protocols for FIR, FIR and PMF combined. We're coming out with this, but we still still need to collect more data to make sure that we have the right settings, you know. So the FASTA programs is, I use it, for example, I, I use relaxation at, at home every evening. I just go on relaxation. So uh, it's yeah. from that 24 minutes. Yeah, that might be different. And the, the, the FASTA programs might 
even gradually change the intensities over the duration of the application based on the pre-programmed patterns I put in. So you mean, uh, even though this is just a set program, it can change by time? With the well, the program will not change, but uh, but 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 within the faster programs, the settings may change because I pre-programmed it into the unit. You know, but the the most individual application is the sensor because it, it listens to you. By the way, HRV reflects your reaction of your autonomic nervous system. In in lay, lay uh, in, in, in in layman terms. It tells us whether you are stressed or you are relaxed. And depending on the reaction, we, we play, the system plays with the intensities. Okay, a comment. Um, when I'm using the system, no matter what device I'm using, if I don't drink water or have it right there, I get dehydrated. Yeah. Now, the other thing is, has anybody ever tested out like drinking Gatorade Zero with using the system or something? Is that, is that a problem? No. I, I don't think that's a problem. You know, it's better to, to just drink. don't be drinking beer with it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe nowadays beer is more pure than, the Gatorade. than, than Gatorade. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At least Bavarian beer. <laughs> You know, but like I said, mo most important is hydration. You know, the worst you can do is not hydrate yourself at all. You know, for me it's funny because if I can drink two two liters of water, I don't need to go pee. If I drink uh, two coffee in the morning here in the U.S., I need to go to pee all the whole day long. So explain. This is something. This is a question for you. Explain that to me, because I don't get it. You know. I don't know really. I don't know. Yeah. I always tell people to drink water before to activate your cells. It works better, and drink plenty of water afterward is to detox, get the best stuff of your body. So. It's important, water before and after. Yeah, that's, that's the most important thing, hydrate yourself, you know? But I, we have no specific uh, data about uh, brands and, 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 and kinds of liquid what we, what we uh, put in our body, please. Uh, one question, uh, and now three questions, but I do have a, a pre-encounter pre with Terry, so. No problem. Okay. So, uh, I wanted to ask this I would like quick answers if it's okay. So yeah, I tried to answer time. quick. Okay. Uh, for the time for everybody else. Yeah. Uh, been an ex athlete. We had a bunch of lot of had had knee replacements, hips, joints, whatever. How how can the machine benefits the hybrid? You know, the machine benefits people who went through yeah. I got I got a titanium ball and hip right now. Yeah. Which I never thought that would be me, but I'm here. Yeah. So he actually had a hip replacement and uh, post-surgery, a couple weeks or yeah, a couple of weeks. Uh, very interesting, very good studies, first of all, utilizing PMF with any kind of uh, 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 replacements. Why? Because the replacement grows in better. Yes. And usually those replacements, they have a warranty between 10 and 15 years. And then they eventually need to be replaced again. There are studies out with PMF, the, 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 uh, the, the time frame until these uh, replacements need to be exchanged, they increase with PMF five to ten years. Mm -hmm. wow. So oh, wow. you may save a, sur a, sur uh, a surgery cycle and another replacement by utilizing PMF with those kind of replacements. By the way, metal Titanium whatsoever, screws are no contraindication with our low pass BMF devices. You can use it without any restriction, without any harm. Huh? And other than that, you, you, well, you will see, you so benefit from this. And if, if you have a, a doctor taking care of your uh, 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 tracking your improvement, yes, yes. He will be very, very uh, surprised how fast you're gonna heal. Yeah, he actually wants to do a YouTube on me because I just finished. I'm not sure I don't have any pain, but I have had zero pain from the day of surgery. 
like zero, no pain meds at all. But he wants to do a YouTube video on the recovery. Yep. But prior to that, I rode the, I rode my bicycle, Shh. rode my bicycle 450 days straight from five miles to 100 miles a day. So he thinks this has to do. I'm in pretty good shape, so that's why I might have pain. I don't know if that's just. But what? Well, no, it has nothing to do with that because. Maybe your, your ability to recover is faster in general, but this is more uh, when we talk about muscles and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you have a surgery, you have a surgery, yeah. no matter whether you're not, whether you're an athlete or, uh, you know, and I, I didn't hear that uh, if, uh, if a, a, a pro athlete has, for example, uh, a, a, a knee injury, a really severe knee injury, that they always recover faster than people like you and me when they have the same injury, which is not the case. Right. You know, uh, so I don't believe in that. You yeah. know, you know, I'm very, very positive and 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 uh, and convinced. Utilizing PMF, you have a device now. You know, using on an everyday basis, you will greatly improve day by day, much faster than anybody else who doesn't use. And that's the only thing I haven't been consistent. But now I'm talking to Terry. I'm going to be consistent. My eight eight twenty four in the hybrid mode. Yeah. Uh, Question though, you heard she touched on it. Can you, can you, can you, we always do it on our back, but can you lay on your stomach? Can you lay yes, on your stomach? Yes, you can lay however you want. So that doesn't matter. No. You, like I say, you can even lay down together, and if you don't like your wife, put the mat in between. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. you can still benefit, you know, even if you don't like each other. Now, most people have heard, most people have heard the word telomeres. Does it help with telomeres at all, or are you aware of telomeres? What is telomeres? So telomeres your DNA. Yeah. 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 So, so when you're, you age, your telomeres short. Yeah. And with certain modalities, you can slow the telomeres down sometimes. Well, they are they are connected to your metabolism. Yeah. So telomeres are like the on your shoestring, the little plastic. Yeah, yeah. So over time, that when that comes off. Your lifespan short, so certain modalities and certain things can eliminate the telomeres and stuff like that. So yeah. I'm just curious about that. My last question is, well, this is a big mistake that I've made to, to this day. Running some of the modalities side by side. Yeah. So that's not that's a no no. No, that's a no no. So if I use the mat, use the mat only with mm -hmm. the goggles or the finger phone. That's goggles, correct, sir. And then use the um, the, the spot or the pad afterwards. But never, you know, always that's first. I do remember that. But always use them. Can you use those together or those separately as well? No. So the spot and the pad should always be used separately. But they can be one used applicator at a time. Or they can use it. That's the general rule. But they can use it in conjunction with the goggles if you choose to. No problem. The goggles you can always add, okay. but always one applicator at a time. Do you use the finger too? Do you use the pad and the stuff? No, no. That's just for the mat. Yeah, because the, 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 the finger sensor uh, uh, evaluates your entire body. So if you use the, the local application, it, it the measuring would be not helpful at all. So why do and it doesn't have... work, by the way. The system does not allow you to use it with the local application. <laughs> Oh, okay. You cannot choose to enable it. But I can use, split use it and have my, my friend use it while I'm on the mat and they can You use can it. do all the crazy things with that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 can, can you last Just don't bend the uh, coils. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you strike, can you just uh, split, split mode? That's what I'm looking for. Split mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for all the people who own uh, IMRS Prime. Mm -hmm. And also for... <laughs> For the ones who don't own one, I explain it. Split mode means we are the only company in the world who provides two PMF systems in one. Because we have two, two separate DA converters built in the, in, the, in the connector box, which allows you to connect two applicators and, two, and, and perform two totally independent application with one or the other applicator. The idea is, for example, if, if, if uh, OsteoStrong uses it, they can use one control unit lying one person on a whole body mat on the left side and another one on the right side and control them separately. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, uh, run one application on the whole body mat and your wife in the same time can uh, sit beside and do a, 
uh, an application with the pillow completely separately with, with her own protocol. Uh, so they are, we don't split the same application. Our split mode means you can do separate, completely independent applications. And you can also choose them. The, the, the screen will split in two operation surfaces. Only one and far infrared doesn't work with split mode. And there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it because we don't have enough power available to run PMF, hybrid, and the second applicator in the same time. And that's why hybrid is only available on hybrid mode, which doesn't allow split mode. So one device, two, two applicators, can be two different people. Yeah. 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 Oh, it should be. I, I put I put split mode and put them both on me. Yeah. <laughs> that, I split the applicators. Yeah, that's typical man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are so efficient, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> I really did. We are very efficient. We can what think about nothing <laughs> and still breathe. Women cannot do that. <laughs> right? We are very efficient. The men are very efficient. One other question about the pad. I used to pad because I worked in chiropractor's offices for the last you know, seven years and I used And I'll do reflexology with the pad. Yes. Either on the hands or on the feet. Yes. And can you explain that to to well, yeah, you've done it, right? well, well, basically, uh, 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 reflexology is nothing. Then you 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 trigger the meridians, you know, and you can do this with several applications. You can do this with needles. You can do this with pressure through your hands, but you can also do this with electromagnetic fields. So, more or less, PMF can be used also. Uh, uh, for reflexology, mm -hmm. you sit down, you put the pad on the floor, and you put your, your, your feet on it, mm -hmm. and that will activate and trigger the meridians, mm -hmm. you know, the acupuncture points. Mm -hmm. And usually what we figured out over time, that intensities between sensitive and 25, they sedate, so they take energy out of the meridians, and intensities from 50 to 400, they energize right you know and so depending on what what the idea is if you want to calm down the entire system you can use it uh, as reflexology either on your arms or on your feet to take energy out of the chi you say the chi you know and to make the situation more calm in the entire organism then you use very low intensities and if you want to activate those meridians and you pump energy in, in the system uh, uh, pro, uh, pro athletes do this often bef right before before an event. Yeah. You know, they really they, they put it they put the, the pillow and they ramp it up on 400 to really you know uh, pump pump in energy and activate the the the, the, the chi you know the, the meridians. What about high it? high blood pressure? Would you do that at a low intensity? And the <clears throat> well, high blood pressure has a reason. Right. And first of all, you need to work on the cause. Right. We cannot, we cannot uh, uh, decrease high blood pressure just by using PMF. Mm -hmm. So you need to work on the cause and apply PMF for balancing. Right. But without uh, addressing the cause, no possibility. You know? And PMF is no excuse. So even if you use PMF, you know, you can't go to McDonald's anymore and do Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Even worse, because you're gonna, if you do this, you're gonna absorb much better. So you, uh, you, you absorb the crap even more than before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't do that. Huh? About medication with Equipment. Thank you. Good, very good question. If somebody is on medication, first of all, there's a reason for it, and second of all, mostly there is a protocol coming with this medication. Mm -hmm. Speaking of how many times per day and how many doses per day. Mm -hmm. So now you uh, introduce PMF, 
we learned today better absorption. So usually what happens that it might happen and, and it, it eventually does that the effects of the medication increase. If this happens, you need to lower the dose of the of the medication. Generally, how long? Half or just continue? Each yeah. Together. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, the meal before meal, what happens at that? We cannot control the time. Always. The you time, how long it takes until? Yeah, right before after. Separate well, if you do it consistently, you can lower the doses consistently. He's mm -hmm. talking about after a meal or before a meal. Before a meal, a, me a, 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 a meal. A meal. No, eat. When he eats. Yeah. Well, in no, in general, we talk about a, 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 an ongoing effect because if it, if you use PMF three times a day and at the same time you are on medication, you cover more or less twenty four hours while while using the resonance effect. So the idea is to really lower the dose of the medication on a constant mm -hmm. basis, mm -hmm. which, which is very beneficial because you don't have these, uh, these high side effects. Exactly. And you have, in, in the same time, having a better absorption of the medication and, 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 and therefore a better utilization with less dose. You know, to which extent? General, very hard to be separate all timing, you know, say before meal, after meal, and uh, take this. It doesn't matter. It could. It doesn't matter. No. No. I if I, I, what I would, what I would do from from just just basic understanding, if you eat healthy, mm -hmm. I would use it after a meal, mm -hmm. right? Because then you have a lot of good fuel yes. moving around in your body, waiting for being absorbed. So if you introduce PMF to your body after a good meal, your absorption rate will increase dramatically, which is a good thing. Yeah. Like in the morning, oh, I do a lot of different frequencies. Yeah. You know, I'll take all my supplements before I get on the mat because I can feel it going into my cells because they're all natural supplements, but you can feel them literally going into the cells. Yeah, well, it's I mean, transporting the, faster. Right? The more good stuff floating around, the more to absorb. So the, the, the stimulus is probably better after introducing the nutrients because you have a better a better absorption effect. Generally, we have the three high, you know, medicate three high medicated. Yeah. High blood pressure, sugar, and and the cholesterol. Yeah. Those control medicine to be. Using in a you know in morning and evening. Mm -hmm. If we have taken the PMF, we keep all together almost close. Yeah, you can you can always accommodate the timing of an application uh, uh, to your personal situation. Of course, you know not everybody is on medication. <laughs> not everybody is on on a clock when it comes to medication. So it, at the end. You need to individually find the best protocol, but of course you need to uh, 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 take in place the, the basic idea what happens when you utilize a PMF application. And based on the higher absorption rate and all that, I think you have the possibility to, to accommodate according to your personal situation. But like I said, there is no Superman protocol, there is no specific you know, because we are, we, we have, everybody has an individual situation and, and we need to accommodate to that. But like you said, you drink water with lemon or lime first, then you drink Yeah, that yeah. hydration is very important yeah. because when your system, your interstitial fluid is, is, is more present, the, 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 the cells are more receptive and they are, they are more, more floating, more moving. And that helps, you know. But most of Medication is a pH high, very high. But pH doesn't play a big role in this. Yeah. You know? pH plays a role in a chemical yeah. procedure, but this is an energetic procedure. Yeah. You know? So, no matter what the pH is, the PMF will always increase membrane potential, it will always get the ions to move. It will always increase the absorption rate, 
And then the pH is more or less responsible about the quality and about the acidity of the stuff you are, you are absorbing. But it is independent from a PMF application. While feeding, if I have medication and do PMF, I think it's better. Yeah. It's better. It's yeah. Negative. Yeah, yeah, because you absorb it also better, and it will you, it will have a a, a, a a better effect. And what I what I said is even good to control the doses from time to time, because if you are if you are able to lower the doses. Because of a better absorption rate, you also benefit from this. Mm -hmm. If you recommend um, lower intensity in the evening and higher in yes. the morning? Yes, yes. How about the time? Like I said, 25 and 8 minutes in the morning, 25, 8 minutes midday, and 24 minutes and intensity 10 in the evening. That's a good basic protocol to start with. And over time, you will figure out if you need more or less because you create a sensitivity for that kind of stuff. Mm. You know, but of course it makes sense to, to apply lower intensities in the evening because you want to calm down your system and you want to prepare your system for sleep and for regeneration. So it makes no sense to go on 400 in the evening except you have a date and you better go on 400. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Why, why 24 minutes in the evening? Why not eight, eight and eight? Because 24 minutes. Because because we've ju it's just based on experience, mm -hmm. feedback from users. We figured out that if you introduce probably during the day, the the, the entire body you know is, is pretty active, and in order to sedate the entire system, it probably takes a longer time. Uh, uh, the stimulus needs to be introduced to the body comparing to activate something in the morning you know but there is no medical reason for 24 minutes this is more or less based on feedback from users you know maybe somebody some, some people doing no there's no study some people doing good with eight minutes or 16 minutes sometimes you don't even have time for 24 minutes I understand that but then do it at least eight minutes Instead of not doing it, you know, we're, we're how many times you brush your teeth? You need Wait minutes. a second. How many yeah. times you brush your teeth per day? Usually it's two, three times. Okay, let's say three times two minutes. How much is it per day? Six minutes. The week has seven days. Six times seven, 42 minutes. So we invest 42 minutes on average per week for brushing our teeth. And we need to do that three times per day for two minutes. Now, the clever guy comes and says, I don't do that anymore because I don't have time. I do 40 time, 42 minutes on Saturday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you invest the same time, the results will be different. <laughs> because you try to beat your problem with intensity. And we beat the problem with consistency. What is more sustainable? Think about your teeth. You know? So, maybe 16 minutes are okay too. But from experience, we figured out, especially in preparation for a good sleep, that we use a longer duration towards the evening to really calm down mm -hmm. and also to bring the, the brain waves into a delta, into a theta uh, uh, area to prepare for good sleep. You know, you will fall asleep easier. <laughs> It often happens when you do a 24-minute session that you fall asleep on the mat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? So, but that's the reason. That's what's behind it. Sorry. Yeah. That's why we say snoring is okay. Snoring is okay. Yeah, you, you, you figure that out all the time here, right? People fall asleep constantly. Yeah. People. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have an audience right now. <laughs> is it harmful if you use too often too long? No, it's just useless. I, I you you, you just consume electricity for nothing, <laughs> you know? General, and we know electricity cost, cost and uh, is not available abundantly. General, I feel it's using about one hour for three different kinds of sections, of three different kinds of sensitivity, then about one, about one hour. 
it will last some eight hours, ten hours. It's good. Yeah. Sometimes it's tired, too tired. Yeah. More. Yeah. More than one hour. No, it makes just no sense because, like I said, it, it, it's if I if I would answer the same question on an ongoing basis, you would probably listen two answers and then you would say, "Now I heard it." Right. You know, and I can keep on with the stimulus. You would just not react to it anymore. Yeah. And and that's why you know. And, and still, everybody is individual. You know, we have people who have a higher weight, a lower weight. We have people who are smaller, taller. We have uh, 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 people who are healthy. We have we have people who are chronically ill. There is not one protocol for all, but there is a basic protocol. And I told you this, and you take it from there. <laughs> and I promise you, you're gonna find your superhero protocol over time. <laughs> Sorry. Is, there, is there a setting? Because there's, I have three major areas that I need regular. You told, you told me. Yeah. So, is there a way to set it where I can say um, these three settings no. consecutive? No. No, you don't need it. I explained to you already. Don't be so stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> and don't be so insecure. <laughs> Just do what I told you. Lie on this. Twenty-five <laughs> intensity, eight yeah. minutes in the morning. Yeah. Shall I write it down for you and do it afterwards? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Two. 25 midday and 24 minutes and 10 in the evening. And call me in the morning. Uh -huh. Take two hours. This is all you need to do. Yeah. You know, the okay. system does not care what your problem is. Okay. And it doesn't know what your problem is. But it addresses the whole body. Huh? Right, but 25 intensity each time? 25, 8, 25, 8, 10, 24. So okay. it's in 10. At the last one. Yeah. 24 minutes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, JD. Can you tell us something? So, other than get me to walk again, um, when Pamela first got the mat, maybe five years ago or six, something like that, um, I, I started getting on it. Not, not three times a day, but maybe twice a day, maybe once a day. But I started getting on it. Now, has anybody heard of dark field microscopy? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, well, dark field is a very, very high powered microscope. It's way high, more high powered than what they use in the labs to do your blood work. In the blood work, they, and usually in labs, they got to kill your blood and then look at it. In dark field, they take your blood and they put it on a slide and they look at it under this very high powered <coughs> microscope. Now, I have been having it done for about 30 years. And um, yeah, did you remember the slide that Wolfgang had up here of the cell? The cell was perfectly round on there. The nucleus was directly in the middle. Well, none of my cells ever looked like that. My cells were oblong, square, um, small, tiny, you know, with stuff in them and everything else. And they were all stuck together all the time. For 30 years, they were stuck together. And so when, when, when I, um, after about three years of doing it, we went to a doctor's house who had a party. And he did the dark field for the guest. And I sat there and did mine. And uh, I looked at the cells and I told him, I said, Doc, I think you've got the wrong slide up there because th that's not my cells. He said, oh, yes, they are. They were perfectly round. They had the nucleus in the middle and they were bouncing off of each other. That's health. That's, that's your body being in health. What, is, what does this mat do? It puts your body in health. It doesn't heal a certain disease or anything. What it does is put your body in health and it optimizes it so your body is able to heal whatever you got going on. That's it. That's right. my comment. I found it. I found it. Oh, yeah. There you are, Jay. Oh, yeah. can even do your... You're on the right. I can even go live. This is how it looks before a dark field microscopy. 
This is these those are red blood cells. They are responsible for transporting oxygen, absorbing and transporting oxygen. Very important for athlete, athletes, you know. EPO doping, you know. You know what what they do when they do. A, a, you heard about EPO doping? Yeah. When, when you know what they do is they the, the athletes take blood, and when you take blood, the body produces blood. And then after a while, they, they, they put the, the additional blood inside, so they increase the amount of red blood cells. So they increase the uh, chao They increase the amount of transporting oxygen, and that increases performance. You know, and and EPO is still used because it, it's not traceable. Yeah, right? it's not traceable. So that how it literally looks before. So ciao, bye bye. Thanks for coming. Here you have the situation that the red blood cells they, they stick together because the membrane potential is already low. You know, after after an IMRS application, those red blood cells look like this. The membrane uh, uh, potential increases. You know. The, the cells repel and they have more surface to absorb oxygen. You know? And this is exactly what you explain and this is how it looks, you know. That's a white blood cell, by the way. This is how it looks. And those particles are nutrients. This is nutrition here. It's floating in the interstitial fluid. And here, if you if your if your cells look like this, where is the surface to absorb? You know? So remember what I said. Don't no wonder that you cannot utilize your uh, your supplements when your cells in such a stage is impossible. You can you cannot absorb that stuff. You know they have to look like this. Happy cells, unhappy cells. You know the moon has no magnetic field. <coughs> That's why he looks so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is growing. Like his whole life, there's no electromagnetic field. Why well, doesn't no. rotate? Either. Energy is even, <laughs> even too weak to rotate. <laughs> yeah? there, you know, no energy, no life. Very simple. Okay. Any other question? Yes. Still? Do we One have more to? Question. Okay. There is about 200 different uh, programs for different yes. diseases. When do you use those? <laughs> if you don't know how to use it, then you go according to this eye guide. This is this is mainly a help for for uh, 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 you know professional use in clinics for uh, people like also osteo strong because most of the people they come with an issue. Uh -huh. You know, right. and you probably have to deal with a lot of issues during the day. Right. So that's a help for them. This is not a specific protocol. It's again, it's a database which I collected from feedback from users. You know, that, you know, over time when you have more than 2 million users, you get feedback. Mm -hmm. And you have only a limited amount of diseases and diagnos diagnosis. So what I did, I created an Excel sheet was a little bit more sophisticated, but something like that. You know, we have an indication, we have a protocol, and we have this outcome. If you collect uh, 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 enough data, you, 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 can, you, you can use empiric com uh, comparison. And then you figure out, aha, with these kind of protocols, low intensities, longer duration, you have the best results, for example, for fibromyalgia. Uh, with acute pain, you have the best results with those intensity levels and those durations. And on, based on this knowledge and based on the possibility to collect a high amount of data, which gives you a, a, a quite some credibility on the, on, the, on, the, on the protocols, I created this database. But it is not, I, I don't know which frequency is used to beat cancer. I don't know. Nobody knows. If I would know it, I would be not alive anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. That's true. You know? <laughs> so you're not going to tell us if you know. <laughs> well, I, no, I, you know, I would. Yeah, because no, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would, but I, 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 I couldn't. But I would, from my, from my character, you know, I have no problem, you know. I would rather share this 
then see all the misery what we have right now. You know? But but that's that's the idea behind it. You know? So that's a help and that's why it's called a guide. 